Uh, welcome to my channel, Evergreen Health, your daily path to stronger living. I had no idea how powerful clove can be for your body. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through what may happen if you chew and swallow a single clove every day. When you chew, it break it up thoroughly and then swallow. Clove truly is remarkable. I have come across more than 130 patents that involve cloves in different applications. Some relate directly to human health, while others use it as a natural fungicide for plants. In short, there's a substantial body of research behind this natural spice. One of the most common ways people use clove is as a numbing aid for a toothache because it has analgesic effects. When we talk about clove's benefits, we're really referring to its key essential oil component, eugenol. You can also purchase eugenol oil on its own. Much of the aroma flavor and many of the benefits come from this compound. Eugenol makes up roughly 75 to 80 percent of clove oil, and there are many other phytonutrients present as well. One reason I like natural herbs and spices is that you get nature's full package rather than an isolated chemical, the way drugs are often designed. More than 50% of modern medications originate from plant compounds. Typically, manufacturers isolate an active molecule and then synthesize it so it can be patented. Clove has several fascinating characteristics I want to highlight. These are essentially defense mechanisms the plant has developed over long periods to stay alive. And what do plants most need to defend against? If you said microbes, you're right. That's why clove shows potent antimicrobial actions. Antiviral, antibacterial, antifungal, anti-candida, and antiparasitic. Keeping clove in the mouth can be especially useful because many people have candida overgrowth biofilms that become plaque or gum infections. In such cases, clove oil, or simply chewing a whole clove is something I would consider. Of course, check with your doctor before you start chewing cloves. I'm not claiming this cures any medical condition. And if you end up cured, please don't put my name on the miracle. Some people even apply diluted clove oil to the scalp when dealing with fungal issues or other pathogens. In several studies, which I'll list below, clove constituents were observed to help reduce toxicity generated as fungal byproducts. I found a study showing that when clove constituents are combined with an antibiotic, the emic value increases by about 1,000%. MIC, the minimum inhibitory concentration, is the lowest antibiotic level that completely halts bacterial growth. Practically, this means you could achieve the same effect with a much smaller antibiotic dose. And as you know, the more antibiotics we use, the more we encourage superbugs. Many microbes die under pressure, but the survivors adapt, become resistant, and pass along those resistance traits. Much like in humans, stress sometimes produces greater resilience. Since we're discussing antimicrobial effects, let's also consider what happens inside the body. There's research showing clove oil can inhibit H. pylori, the bacterium behind certain ulcers and gastritis. Clove has been noted to suppress H. pylori, and to support improvements in peptic ulcers, gastritis, indigestion, gas, and bloating. Other than that, it does nothing at all. And yes, that's sarcasm. Clove's phytonutrients also inhibit monoamine oxidase, making it an MAO inhibitor that can influence neurotransmitters such as noradrenaline, serotonin, and dopamine. It also exerts anti-inflammatory effects, which makes it interesting for joint discomfort and arthritis. There are even data suggesting anti-cancer potential, with signals noted, particularly in lung cancer models. As for side effects, I'm referring to the essential oil, here not the whole clove, staying below about 2. 4 megalomers per kilogram of body weight is a commonly cited safe range, which is one reason herbs and spices are considered relatively safe. You can still overdo it. Excessive amounts may stress the liver, some people are allergic, and clove oil is not recommended during pregnancy or while breastfeeding. I wanted to share a simple practical habit that has been used for roughly 3,000 years in India and in China, with a long record of therapeutic use. Since we've just covered clove, if you haven't seen my video on the benefits of garlic, make sure to watch the one I reference next. Thank you for watching Evergreen Health. Subscribe to stay healthy every day.